welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new um this is slightly embarrassing i have not filmed a video in god knows how long i haven't even looked i'm kind of scared he's laughing at me right now because he thinks the way i'm talking is funny but as my subscribers would know if you watched my last video i have a baby now and life has completely changed for me and if I thought that working full time while being pregnant was difficult, being a mother of a newborn is also very difficult. So forgive my long absence. I'm really hoping to be making some more videos that are a little bit more consistent, but that will kind of depend on this little guy right here who is very fussy. He's like, I'm gonna launch myself off of my mama. To be 100% honest, what are you doing? To be 100% honest, I really thought I was going to wait until um, he turned three months old to film because I thought that would make sense to film a three month update. But I just think that if I keep putting it off, then it's going to keep happening. But little guy right here is 11 weeks old. And uh, if we want to be really technical, two days. And he is a right old mess. Yeah, you're a mess. Uh, if you haven't met him yet, this is Joey. Well, his name is Joseph. We call him Joey. We call him Jojo. Pretty much all of the things. And he has been doing quite well. Um, he's been a huge blessing in our lives. And he's a hot mess, though. Let me tell you, he is a hot mess. So he's very contentedly staring at our ceiling fan right now. Um, I'm going to go into my postpartum recovery first, and then we'll go into Mr. Joseph. So, I had a spontaneous delivery, which means they did not have to induce me. I went into preterm labor at 34 weeks and three days, and I did not have to have a C-section, so that was a huge miracle. I did have to have two episiotomies done. Um... And I had to recover while visiting my son in the NICU. And um, I got released, you know, 48 hours after my labor and delivery. But unfortunately, I couldn't, you know, rest at home because I was at the hospital with my son a lot of the time, having to pump and bring milk for him, bring him whatever he needed at the hospital, stay with him at the hospital and then come back home. It was a long cycle and he was in the NICU for nine days. Yeah. He's sitting in his little bouncy seat next to me and he's having a grand old time. Yes. He thinks it's funny that mommy's talking to a camera. He hasn't seen me film since he was very small and I'm sure he doesn't. Remember? You don't remember, do you? As far as recovery goes, I think my biggest complaint is my body hasn't recovered the way that I wanted it to. I haven't lost the weight the way that I thought I would breastfeeding. None of my clothes fit the way that they used to. I've had to buy a couple of different items. It's been kind of discouraging and difficult. Um, so it's something that I'm trying to work on is eating healthier and drinking more water and trying to get my steps in, which if you're a mom, you know, is really difficult. Um, I am having to go in for some physical therapy. Um, called pelvic floor therapy I had some issues with that that I won't go into because that's super private and personal information but basically it hasn't healed up in a normal fashion which doesn't surprise me I think that you know with what happened to me after I, well it was a traumatic experience anyway because I was in the hospital for days before I could even give birth and then having my son in the hospital it was just a lot <laughs> for my body and I think it's like made it to where I couldn't recover as fast or as well as I would have liked to. So I am going to be going in for that starting hopefully next week. Um, as far as breastfeeding goes, that has been going so, so, so much better. He's almost exclusively breastfeeding now with pumped milk at night. And that's been just amazing. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Um, I was really afraid we were just going to have to bottle feed him, but you know, I'm really, I'm really proud of myself and I'm proud of him for making it and that happening and that being the case because especially with this formula shortage, my heart goes out to all the mamas and babies affected by the formula shortage 
and I'm so fortunate and blessed that it really hasn't affected us except that I was using formula as like a break from pumping and breastfeeding and now I can't do that anymore because we can't find the formula we were using but such a small problem compared to what a lot of people are dealing with so but I'm so glad that the breastfeeding is going well as far as any postpartum mental health issues, I know postpartum depression and anxiety are very common. I already have anxiety and depression. I've been diagnosed with that prior to pregnancy. Um, so I personally haven't noticed a significant change as far as that goes. Um, I am grateful for that. I haven't had any significant increase in depression or anxiety per se. I just always have it. Um, Ironically, I was diagnosed with ADHD um, a couple of weeks after I gave birth clinically. And so that's something that I'm going to be kind of focusing on this year is trying to address that. And I think that's going to help a lot in my life, not just as a mom, but just as a person in general. My biggest adjustment has been going from working full time to being a stay at home mom full time. That's been really hard for me. I was used to working full time. I've been working if not working and in school since I was 18. So that's been, you know, 13 years of work and now being a stay at home mom, it is work, but it's different. It's not the same as what I was used to before. And so I've been trying to really have a little bit more of a routine, but it's just hard. And if you're a mom, you know. Um, so as far as my baby boy goes, he has, been growing leaps and bounds. The last time we weighed him, he was getting closer and closer to 13 pounds. Like I said, he's 11 weeks and a couple of days. And um, he really has started smiling a lot, trying to talk to us. He's trying very hard to roll over from his tummy to his back and he's almost there. He loves the little ball pit that we got for him. He loves this swing. We're having a really bad thunderstorm, so lighting is crap. My dog is barking. It. This is why I don't film anymore. This is really why I don't film, because if he's not going crazy, the baby's going crazy, I. it's hard. So I just said I was going to film, so I'm probably going to get either no views on this video or the people that do watch it are going to be like, you suck and you're the worst. I'm going to be like, probably. Um, But he has the only bad thing so far is he has a flat spot on the back of his head on the right side and that's because he's always laid on his right like the right side of his head not on his side side but on the right side of his head he's been like that since birth and so we really think he was in utero like that um and so it's a little bit concerning because they would have to put him in a helmet at four months if it doesn't get better and that's just like my worst nightmare Wow, it is pouring outside. My God. What a lovely Monday. It's good for my garden, I guess. We did plant raised a raised bed and it's looking amazing, if I do say so myself, and some beautiful herbs and flowers. But uh, this isn't quite the Monday I wished for. Anyway, um, he doesn't really have a lot of issues. Last night he slept for six hours six hours and then he woke up he ate and then he slept for another three and a half hours amazing chef's kiss before he was waking up every two hours and it was insane i think the only other update that i have as far as he goes is he's showing us a little bit more of his personality um he's a pretty content baby believe it or not he gets really upset when he's hungry and he gets really upset when he's tired other than that, he doesn't really get upset. He, he does good just chilling um, in his ball pit and his swing and his bouncy seat. He loves the bouncy seat. He loves to be held when he naps. That's one thing that's been hard is that it makes it harder for me to do things because he just wants to be held literally all the time. But, you know, other than that, he is a pretty easy baby. I don't think any baby is easy. But he's one of the easier ones, I would think. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I'm going to turn off my TV because I just realized that it's putting a glare on my face and that's not cute. But YouTube was always my creative outlet before this, even with my music channel. Um, my music channel was a huge creative outlet for me too. And now I don't really post to that anymore because I'm not teaching currently. Being a mom, I... 
I just love him to death. I love him. I love bath time. He loves bath time. He gets very relaxed and happy when it's bath time and he'll just sit in the bathtub. He loves the warm water all over him. Um, he loves his nursery, which I would love to do a nursery tour because it's been so great in there. There's a couple things I would change, but we're actually having him in there more. When we first brought him home, he was in our room pretty much exclusively, but now he, we're spending a lot of playtime, changing time, even a couple of nap times in his, in his room in the nursery. And that has, I love the way that I did that room. I think it's turned out really pretty and I think it's pretty functional as well. Anyway, I hope that you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching my really obnoxious update and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.